John, good morning to you. After Saturday's game, the 2-2 draw at Vale Park, you said you were disappointed and angry. But having watched the game back, as doubtless you have, in the cold light of day, what are your emotions since? Well, there's a lot of positives. Um, the group and I feel like we've turned a real corner um, and I, I, we believe that results will follow. Uh, the level of performance was high. Uh, if you go through the, the, the start in 11, man for man, um, you know, they performed really well and we'll be asking for more of the same on Saturday and going forward throughout this season because when the players play with that bravery um, and that intensity of getting the ball back, not only will we be successful, but it's it, it's great to see and it's great to watch and um, how we were supported on Saturday from the Amber and Blue Army was incredible. The noise they made uh, was, it sounded like thousands um, and it sends a, real, sends a real kind of shiver up your spine when they're at full voice and it, it makes a massive difference to the players, speaking to them afterwards, speaking to them over um, the last couple of days, what is apparent is that the supporters make a, a real difference to the players. And I understand that there's frustration and some people might not fully believe. Um, but what I would ask for is their full back into the players because I think on Saturday in particular, that, that noise they made uh, was incredible. What did the players say afterwards about the support? They talk about the support and about them being with them. Um, I understand also that it's, a, it's, it's, it's down to us to make them come with us and give them something to sing about. That's our responsibility without a doubt. Um, but when it was echoing around Port Vale Stadium, um, you could almost see the, even the bench kind of looking at each other. It was, it was fantastic and it brought memories back of you know, the, the, the big games I played in for the club, you know, the Chesterfield away when we went to their place and, and um, robbed three cherries out of their stadium um, when we got we were under the cosh for a lot of the time. You know the Liverpool game, um, the the big games, Hereford, Wrexham at home when we when we lifted the title. So great memories. And you know when I very first was brought in to do this job, I, I spoke about making memories and um, being honest. The first ten games haven't been good enough, but I, I feel confident and positive and I have faith that we, we have turned the corner and, 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 and we will be successful. Interesting you talk about the support, just as an aside, when you were a player at Mansfield, what was the best support you received in which game? Individually or a team? Both. Um, oh, good question, Steve-O. The, the, the Hereford game was, you know, something that I'll take to my grave with me. Um, that feeling of euphoria and when when Green put the ball in the back of the net but more I'll be honest it was relief for me and you know I think I dropped to my knees um, me and uh, Alan Marriott after he you know, hit the ball to read I, I, I was on my knees and I looked behind my left shoulder I looked over my shoulder and Mazza was doing exactly the same thing so it was yeah a lot of happiness but relief because we knew that we'd be we could take the you know the game into the, the final game of the season against Wrexham so Brilliant memories. Um, individually, yeah, you know, I, I scored a couple of important goals as well for, for the first team in that campaign. Um, not as many as Luke Jones, but a, a, a couple of good goals. So, yeah, no, I, listen, I, I almost, I was disappointed in myself after the Cambridge game because I mentioned a couple of idiots um, after the game and that they probably didn't, don't deserve the kind of airtime. What you should be talking about is the supporters who are real, um, and they're the supporters that were there Saturday. And I'm not listen. I'm not talking about people who are kind of positive about me. We've got some real supporters who maybe don't quite believe at this moment in time, um, but they're willing me to do well, um, and they've got their opinion with, which they're entitled to. That that's that's fine. But there's also wonderful people around the club who have back me to the hill and I'm not talking about the owners and, and the board who have been great to me but um, after the Cambridge game I was you know coming off to some abuse and little Anne in the office was squaring up to fully grown men so it's people like that who have who have backed me and uh, Danielle who works around the ground you know she comes in on a Monday morning to make sure I'm okay it's people like that you want to do well for not just yourself and um, they're the people that I'll be focusing on.